Here's how I go through the vocabulary activity with my students. I use that smart notebook PDF file to show them the pictures. For example, this is a picture I have for concrete jungle. So we just look at the picture and kind of describe it. What do you see when you see this picture of the concrete jungle? Then, whoopsies. This is how I go through the vocabulary activity with my students. First, I start with the picture of the word from the PDF file that I linked up to this lesson. And we just look at the picture and we, uh, we say, what do we see? This is a picture that describes a concrete jungle. What is a concrete jungle? And um, the students would come up with a big city with many buildings close together. So that's a student made definition. And then we're gonna go back to the text and find the word. So here's the excerpt from the text. And um, basically it says, I'm on my back looking at the sky, trying to pretend I'm in the country, but I can't because even grass in the city feels hard as a sidewalk. And there's just no pretending you were anywhere but in a concrete jungle, as my grandfather say. So yeah, that goes with our definition of the concrete jungle because she wants to pretend that she's in the country, but reality, she's in the big city. So I don't feel that the students would really need to add anything to their definition. So we would move on to sentence writing, and um, I want them to tell me three of the five who, what, when, where, why, or how words to just prove that they know the meaning. So here's an example sentence. As we walked past many crowded buildings in New York City, we felt like we were in a concrete jungle. And um, they told me where they were. They vaguely told me who because they said we, and I, they also said how they felt. So I felt that the sentence proves that the student knows the meaning of the word. And um, we just kind of flip through this quickly and now it would be time to go to the next picture. I do the photo and some of the definition, I'm sorry, I do the photo and the definition with the students. Then I have them go back to the text and I help them with that. I have them write their sentence on their own.